What's going on guys? Today I am back with another Destiny 2 video and today I have what in my opinion are the top 5 weapons for PvP. But before we get into the video guys, stay tuned until the end if you want to win some silver. Also guys, if you do enjoy the video, leaving a like it seriously does help me out. And if you want to be a part of the most active Destiny channel on YouTube, be sure to subscribe if you haven't already. Okay, so in my opinion, PvP isn't an easy thing to play. There are so many good players out there who run rampant in PvP, and it makes it hard for noobs like us to enjoy it. It seriously does. But in today's video, I bring you five weapons which, in my opinion, will definitely up your PvP game. Even if you ain't a noob though, some of these weapons surely you will enjoy using and cause havoc with. Now a couple on this list you will have heard of, but some you probably haven't, so let's go. Okay, so in at number 5 we have the Medan Multi-Tool, which you've definitely heard of. This exotic scout, which returned from Destiny 1, has been sending a lot of PvP players crazy on actually how good this thing is. A lot of the maps suit scout rifles due to the long line of sight points to many of the maps in the game. A weapon like the Medan Multi-Tool is more or less unbeatable at range unless you come up against someone else using it. Although many people are complaining it's OP, I actually don't think it is. There are many, many counters for the meter. It's just, in my opinion, being overused. When you get team shot with this thing, it's over. It's as simple as that. And team shots and Destiny 2's PvP go together like bread and butter. Now, this weapon is easy for everyone to get. It's rewarded for completing the Devrim K weapon quest on the EDZ. So go do that if you haven't already. Okay, so in at number 4, we have the Last Hope sidearm. Now this thing guys, it is unstoppable at close range. Nothing can outplay you even if you have the slightest bit of decent accuracy. This thing is truly incredible. It's a 3 round burst sidearm and damn it does do that damage. Range obviously as it should be ain't that great. But if you're quick about the map and know all the short routes, you can be seriously effective with this. I would suggest you using this though as intended as a secondary. This paired with the likes of Mira would be unstoppable. It's obtained from engrams, I've had two, I had one drop from failsafe and the other for leveling up my clan and getting an engram from Hawthorne. But yeah guys this is a serious contender, try it out if you have it. At number 3 we have the cuboid, man oh man where to start, this rare AR is easily one of the best ARs in the game for PvP, there is no doubt about it. The range this thing offers is on another level, it's also crazy at close range, and it's actually people's first weapon I've ever gotten a run out of medal, medal with. I actually have that video on my channel, I recorded live while playing PvP survival. It's actually a great, great watch. That video will be found linked within the video description if you do want to check it out. But trust me guys, do not overlook this because it's a rare. It's an amazing weapon in PvP. If you get this to drop and it drops quite often, please try it out in PvP. I guarantee you won't be disappointed. In at number 2 we have the Uriel's Gift. This AR being an energy weapon, it fires like a laser beam. Hardly any recoil on it at all and it hits like a bull. Got great range too and can easily outplay most other weapons in the game. Personally, I didn't like it at first as a weapon in that number one spot took my heart. But this is by far the second best AR in the game in my opinion. One which drops quite often from legendary engrams too and to be honest you've probably already obtained this before. But trust me guys, this being an energy weapon, it makes it a lot easier on you and your loadout setup as most ARs in the game are kinetic. You don't get many options to pair amazing ARs with amazing kinetics. With this, you do. The options of kinetics you can pair this with are crazy, so get experimenting, guys. It will definitely up your game if you do. This thing, trust me, people, will not let you down. In at that number one spot, and in my opinion, the best PvP weapon in the game is the Origin Story AR. Now, I've already made a video on this, stating how, in my opinion, it is the best AR in the game, and that will be found also linked within the video description, and I still think it is, even though I've used many, many other weapons since first playing with this. This thing just feels right using. Something about the way it lands shots in PvP just feels great. It's powerful, it has great range, more or less unstoppable at close to mid-range, and AR definitely worth you using in PvP. Now this is obtainable from Savala after you initially complete the story and then go on to complete two strikes. After that he will have a choice of three weapons for you. Please pick this one. If you've already passed that stage of the game and didn't choose this, you can still get it from Savala's Vanguard Engram, so get grinding people. It's definitely worth it. And guys, those are my best five 
PvP weapons in the game. Obviously though, this is my opinion. If you use something which you think would contend for a place on this list, be sure to let me know within that comment section. I absolutely love experimenting with new things within PvP. And also guys, if you want to win some silver, simply drop a like on the video and leave a comment down below. Winners are picked from my Discord server, so go join it via the link within the video description if you haven't already. But guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks as always for stopping by and hopefully I will see you on that next one. Always in the wrong